woke up this morning to last night's text Looks like my friend's been sleeping with my ex Rolled out of bed, but the bed was gone I fell asleep out in the front lawn Folks and their kids, they're staring at me Looking at what a man ought not to be And I feel deflated, nauseated But I can fix it with inebriation Day drinking Smiling while I'm sinking Deeper and deeper into a haze So I sip as I slide In and out of the sunshine Yes, I'm day drinking my blues away Listening to River City Folk, I'm your host Tom May. We heard a song by my guests today on the program here at Artichoke Music in Portland, Oregon. Oh, yeah. And we are so happy to be here this afternoon on this lovely springtime afternoon in Oregon with Sarah Ann Wolf and Blaine Heineman. Hein it's a hard name to say, Blaine. <laughs> Heinenen. Yeah, you go. Heinenen. Uh, they started us off with day drinking. Always a good policy. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say. You guys have been out here for uh, a little over eight years now. This is the second time you've done the program. You've had a lot of experience in the Pacific Northwest, and excluding uh, this last while when it's been so very tough for anybody in the arts to, to make a living in any way, shape, or form, what would you say is the biggest difference between being a working musician out here as opposed to where you came from back in Maryland? Well, um, 
there's there are way more places to play. There's way more yeah. options in a closer in a group smaller grouping. proximity. Yeah, and um, when we moved out here, what we loved so much was that it well it didn't feel very competitive. It felt like uh, people wanted to help us out. And, yeah, and 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 you know it, the, the music community was really uh, welcomed us with open arms and and wanted to you know so spreading that love and stuff. Yeah, it was really not like nice. this is my real estate. Right. I'm here, find your own corner. Right. <laughs> not that it's like that entirely back home. It's there not entirely like, people, but, but it's definitely not as, because the, the there's so few places that they're so coveted that, you know, yeah. y- there ends up being like clicks. You know what I mean? And it, it's a little bit harder to get into some of the better rooms oh, yeah. too. Almost on a impossible. regular basis, you know. <laughs> right. One of the things that you have both done that I respect so much and that I advise any young musicians to do is to get involved with a place like Artichoke, not just as a performer, but being willing to come in and do whatever is needed to be done to keep the doors open. It's not only good for the soul, but it's good for the entire community. And you both have been very, very active in that sense. And if you're listening to this and you're a musician, in Wyoming or in uh, in Chicago or some other place around the country, get involved with your uh, establishment that promotes this music, not just as a player, not just for your own ego, but also for the sake of the music. And thank you both so much for doing that. Sarah, you brought in a recording for us to hear today by one of my favorite voices in acoustic music of all time, Alison Krauss. And this is her song, A Living Prayer. What is it about this particular song by Alison that attracts you? Well, besides the fact that her voice is just angelic and perfect, <laughs> um, I really like this song because um, uh, I, I know that not everyone in this room is going to share the same faith that we have, but uh, we have the Christian faith. And um, the idea that someone wanted wants to be uh, a you know, the Lord's Prayer basically personified and be like a beacon of goodness on earth is just, it's beautiful to me. In this world, I walk alone with no place to call. softly you'll be 
Across the United States, from Talkeetna, Alaska, to West Palm Beach, Florida, you are listening to River City Folk. I'm your host, Tom May. We heard two pieces of music there by my guests today. We started off with a song by Alison Krauss called A Living Prayer. She was followed by my guests today, Blaine Heinenen and Sarah Ann Wolf, with their song, Please Walk Softly. Where does that song come from? That's not a song that you wrote, Sarah, but I know it's a song that you've got really a lot of affection for. Both of you do. Yes, we do. Um, we have a friend who lives in Junction City. Her name is Verna. Actually, two friends, Verna and Dale. And um, Verna's uncle wrote that song a long time ago, maybe in the 60s. Right. Yeah, and her brother um, wrote... Or, or recorded it, yeah, he sang on it, and she sent us the uh, the recording of it, and it sounds so authentically it's country, timeless. yeah. Timeless, yeah. Um, and she asked if we would learn it for, uh, her, birthday, for right? her birthday, and we just continued to play it because we love it so much. Well, it certainly sounds like a song from that time, yeah, from the 60s, squarely in that tradition of uh, traditional country at that time. And you both have a great affection for Americana music, as it's called these days, which has its roots in that sound. Where was it that you both first heard that, that sound when you were growing up and, and continue to be attracted to it now? I think my dad was an influence for me as far as, he's not a player, but he's a big fan of like bluegrass mostly and country music of all decades really, except for maybe the more modern country he's probably not the biggest fan of, but he likes some of it. Um, I just remember as a kid being annoyed on Sunday mornings hearing like s Sunday or stained glass bluegrass being played on Sunday mornings. I'm like a child and I'm trying to sleep in and I just hear him singing as best as he can along with bluegrass music. And then I was like, man, but it was, it's like ingrained in me. I wasn't, I didn't appreciate it as much until I saw Alison Krauss and Union Station live for the first time. And that just like for the genre especially, it blew my mind and it just made me really fall in love with roots music like that, Americana. But I've always loved like old music. I didn't really know what modern songs were out when I was like in elementary school, junior high. Kids are like, don't you know that new Chris, Chris Cross song? And I'm like, no, do you know Little Richard? <laughs> and they're like, who's that? And I'm like, I think he's new because I'm just listening to what my parents listen to, like Janis Joplin. And so I have a lot of rock influence as well and soul music, but the Americana and the country stuff is just, I mean, we're from just below the Mason-Dixon line. I don't know if that has anything to do with it as well, but it's in there. It's in our DNA somewhere. Sarah? Um, I, get, I would say that my um, path into country music was an interest in bluegrass music first. So I was going to like these, um, I call them hippie festivals, but you know, this was in the 90s. So it was like fish concerts and like uh, festivals that would, you know, it would be jam bands, but there was a lot of bluegrass going on at those festivals as well. And so I gravitated toward that. And then from there, I started listening to older country. And then um, it wasn't until I, he introduced me to like Miranda Lambert. And I was like, wow, like newer country is not as bad as I, as the stuff that they always play on the radio. It's, it's, <laughs> there's some good stuff out there that gets, you know, to the, the, the rootsy stuff. So I like her because her, her songs can get weird, but she has this like flavor of that kind of has like a throwback feel to it. So she does, and it's my wife's favorite. Good choices all, and they show through in the style of music that you both perform and write yourselves. But we're gonna hear something completely different now, right? That Blaine picked out for us, and uh, this is somebody who's quite the rage these days. Very, very popular and very accomplished. This is Jason Isbell with a song called Speed Trap Town. He's got a lot of music out there that's very, very powerful and evocative and uh, fun too. But yeah. what is it about this, this song that draws you in, Blaine? I think, cause I was, you know, I guess probably like most people, I was a little late to the Jason Isbell game. Not like years too late, but when I heard that song in particular, there's just something I like that the, well, at first, it's the simplicity of the recording. It almost sounds like there's just an open, like an on mic in the room, not so much close mic'd and 
overproduced and like this crazy slide guitar that only happens in this one moment. But just like, it took me a long time to really get into like lyrical content of music. I was more of like, I liked melody, I like uh, hooks and stuff like that. That's what I usually grab towards and like rhythms. So it took me a while to get used to like really focusing on lyrical content. And that song just paints like an amazing picture throughout the whole song. Like you can just close your eyes and visually see yourself in each, on each page of what he's, of the story he's telling. She said it's none of my business, but it breaks my heart. I dropped a dozen cheap roses in my shopping cart. Made it out to the truck without breaking down. There's a sign outside says for sale or rent Swinging behind a picket fence that surrounds this home With a broken heart Hope you didn't come too far Cause love don't live here anymore I can't recall the time or place but I remember the warm embrace as it left me here With these cold walls Yeah, it's sinking in by now Love don't live here anymore I miss that feeling of two hearts in perfect time and how love can make you crazy when you're doing it right so turn the key and open the door you can stay the night I'll tell you once more I'll get over it somehow But for now Love don't leave here anymore
We heard two pieces of music in that set on River City Folk, beginning with Jason Isbell, Speed Trap Town. He was followed by my guests today on the program, Blaine Heinenen and Sarah Ann Wolf at Artichoke Music in Portland, Oregon. We are so glad to be back with live music and to be able to have an audience that doesn't even have to have masks on today. It's a pretty amazing feeling that we have gotten this far. So Blaine and Sarah, do you typically have a sound that you particularly like to try to emulate in your songs, those close harmonies? Or do you just really start afresh each time with a different concept? or a different lick on the guitar and work the songs around those? How do you dif typically start off, Sarah? I don't really have a typical. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's more like I might have an idea and then I just run with it. So it's very unorganized. Um, there have been, there was a couple of occasions I wanted to go for a sound. And those two occasions were, there's one song that we have called Tonight and I wanted something big band sounding. And then uh, another time was there's a song called Scorned <laughs> that we don't play anymore. But um, Miranda Lambert style. But it was I wanted to make it in a Miranda Lambert style because I was just really loving her at that time. Um, but other than that, it's usually just if a melody comes into my head or there's a chord progression that just happened, kind of a slave to the muse kind of thing. That's a great exercise for any songwriter though to look at somebody that you really admire who's doing well and say to yourself, well, how do they achieve that feeling and that sound in their song? And then purposefully go about not duplicating it in your own effort, but trying to achieve that same kind of feeling. So that's a very, very worthwhile goal, I think, as you're working on your own music. And I, Blaine, do you follow the same kind of path yourself? Um, probably say on the musical side of things, like guitar, if in my head, if I can hear what I kind of am going for musically, yeah, I'd say it can be influenced by whatever I'm kind of into at the time or something that I'm reminiscent of. Like, I really miss that old sound of this and that, like maybe old rock and roll or bands that I'm really into, but without basically just doing a copy and paste, obviously. But um, it's it's hit or miss. I've sat, that last song uh, that um, we played, I've... I sat down and basically just like pumped that one out. And then I've also had a song, Day Drinking, took me literally the course of years of living two different experiences years apart. And then just, oh, I'll just smush them together into one day, <laughs> even though they're totally not related, you know. But yeah, I'd say just like Sarah, like it could be sporadic, hit or miss. It's like maybe there's a lick that we've written songs around, like Sarah plays tenor banjo, Irish tune tenor banjo. And we've written songs around a lick that she might play. And I'm like, oh, I really like that. You know, I think that's how Sunday Road, one of our tunes, came to be. It was like, mm -hmm. we play around that. And Maryland just, too, and maybe. Then, and Maryland is like, let's just not sit in traffic and <laughs> sit in a, in a in space and just like pump it out. But without forcing things, but you also can't be too lazy. I get pretty lazy. I will literally not do anything about any musically and then just, oh, we got to record? Okay, I guess I got to finish this tomorrow. Deadlines yeah. are always good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Deadlines mm -hmm. make you work yes. towards something you wouldn't necessarily do otherwise. You've got a recording for us to hear by somebody who certainly carved out her own niche with a totally unique kind of voice, and I've known her forever. She uh, appeared on River City Folk in 1992 when she was just starting out. She had gone to Nashville and worked as a secretary and then went to some open mics and really, truly got discovered. Iris DeMint, uh, really a sweet, wonderful person that I've known forever. And I was tickled, Sarah, when you chose this song of hers, uh, Our Town, to feature on the show because this is such a capture of a particular time and place in that community of hers. When did you first hear of Iris? Oh, um, it was maybe a right around when John Prine passed away. And um, I had actually never heard that song um, in spite of ourselves. And uh, so that was the introduction to her because uh, I thought that voice is so unique and fun. <laughs> so, uh, but then she has some really serious songs. <laughs> she, has, she has a lot of serious songs and she's really one of the uh, 
truly original songwriters of our time, and it's just a delight to be able to play this song for of hers again on River City Folk. This is Iris DeMint with Our Town. And you know the sun's setting fast And just like they say, nothing good ever lasts We'll go on now and kiss it goodbye But hold on to your life I never seem all that impressed Despite the fact I know you always try your best My mouth is like a gun locked and loaded with complaints The barrel pointed at your face You do everything to please me Still I never seem to make your life that easy I point out your imperfections much more than I show affection You must think I'm never satisfied and what do I do right? Well, no one ever had my back like you do Used to be, I sure can't pick up Now it's, let's see this through I know I have a funny way of showing it But believe me when I say I count my blessings every day I'm with you are made from tangled knots of ivy every loop a lesson learned and an awful story you could cut right through the vines watch me bleed out on the line but you just take your time with me instead combing through my mess well no one ever had my back like you do used to be i sure can pick up now it's let's see this through I know I have a funny way of showing it But believe me when I say I count my blessings every day I'm with you It can't be easy when I cut you out and turn away I dish it out but when you give it back I spit right in your face don't know why I always have to make things so damn complicated I've got too much pride to show you how much you're appreciated Somehow, without fail, you treat me better than I do you No matter what I put you through Well, no one ever had my back like you do Used to be, I sure can't pick them now it's let's see this through I know I have a funny way of showing it But believe me when I say I count my blessings every day No one ever had my back like you do Used to be I sure can't pick them Now it's let's see this through I know I have a funny way of showing it But believe me when I say I count my blessings every day I'm with
You are listening to River City Folk. We heard two pieces of music in that set, beginning with Iris DeMint with her song, Our Town. And actually, that was a song on her very first album that she made. She went back and re-recorded it later on, but I've always loved that tune. What a good choice, Sarah, to pick a song by Iris for us to hear today. Uh, she was followed with a song that uh, Sarah and Blaine wrote and do together called With You. And that was a great illustration of the harmony work that you do, close harmonies, but not, uh, not easy to do. And, and interesting that Blaine, a lot of the time during that song, you were actually singing above Sarah's melody line. Uh, do you spend a lot of time working on those harmonies to get them to come out so so very well? Really arresting harmonies there. I love those. Thank you. I think it's like yes and no. Yeah, sometimes they just come out <laughs> naturally. Naturally, yeah. uh, but there have been times where, where you know, the we have to work have to on work them. them yeah, on. more or less. I have to work harder than she yeah, does. That's not She's true. way more learned individual i'm more of a nazi that's i can i will <laughs> i will work on the same line for an hour I, yeah she, that's very true and uh and i don't know i think that comes from my mom <laughs> she's a nazi <laughs> but no, but but bes <laughs> besides that um yeah. no it, it's ap apart from when we were learning how to play together we literally were learning how to the coordination of playing guitar and singing yeah. at mm -hmm. the same time learning how to play together we 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 started very early on in, in the process of singing. <laughs> right, and nobody was like kind of ahead of the other, right, really. Maybe, right. maybe in certain little little fields. Like little she's definitely, areas. like like I said, she definitely understands music a lot more than I do. But like I think that's the blessing of us basically coming to into our own but together at the same time, finding our voices, but we found them together as well. Right, right. And we kind of have that sing like family is a quote that I think somebody did a review on our... Harmony is it's kind of like we are like almost like we're brother and sister mm -hmm. singing together, you know. Well, it's really effective. And it reminds me, if nothing else, of Ian and Sylvia, who had two very disparate voices way back when, friends yes. of mine as well. And uh, gosh, it just uh, it sent a chill up and down my back. I hadn't heard you sing that song before that we just had on the program. And it just was very, very effective. Great work. You've got another song we're going to hear right now that's got a story that precedes it. This is a song called The Town, as opposed to Our Town. <laughs> What's the story behind this one? Uh, this one's kind of a bummer. Um, a few years ago, or a handful of years ago, I went back to um, Maryland to go be in a wedding, uh, which is exciting and fun. But um, I ended up having to go a few days early because uh, a good friend of mine had passed away from a drug overdose. And so uh, this song is just, just about that time. Blaine Heinenen and Sarah Ann Wolf on River City Folk, pretty gritty with a song called The Town. strips that light the aisle and I can't sleep at all afraid of where I'm going don't want to think at all my mind won't stop spinning disillusion disarranged Grit my teeth and leave this plane Grab my bags and run to catch the next do train To the town where I grew tall A town that feels so small Now that I've been I see my best friend 
So many tears fall from his chin And he's not happy, no He's feeling loneliness instead I came home to lay his brother's bones to rest Process all the pain, pills to help with sleeping. She's taken a beating, faced with the ugly truth. He made a choice he can't undo, and now she's grieving, grieving. Oh. to River City Folk. I'm your host, Tom May. We heard a song there by my guests today, Blaine Heinenen and Sarah Ann Wolf. Pretty gritty. A song called The Town. Very mountain-sounding kind of song. Very much in the West Virginia, uh, Kentucky kind of feel. I, I love that piece of music. Very powerful. I'd like to say hello to all the folks who listen to the program every week for the past 30 years or so on KIOS-FM the voice of the Omaha Public Schools throughout eastern Nebraska. Thanks very much for tuning into the show today. We've got one more recording to hear that, Blaine, you picked out for us by somebody I'm totally unfamiliar with. So fill me in how I should be aware of this guy, Tyler Childers. Uh, Tyler Childers, uh, it's funny that you mentioned West Virginia, Kentucky. He's a Kentucky boy, eastern Kentucky, but he spent some time in West Virginia, which is where my mother and my mother's family's from, so that's always... Nice to hear folks like that. He's kind of like, he's not the only one out there, but he was somewhat of a saving grace for like gritty old school country music. I guess it's called alt country now at this point. Um, but he just, he's a rooted dude. He's the savior of hillbillies, I feel. Mm -hmm. um, he writes really well and he writes super honest and true. And his voice has a quality to it, in my opinion, that's just like, you can feel what he what he's trying to put give you through his song, you can feel it for sure. I'm a stone throw from the mill And I'm a good walk to the river When my working day is over We'll go swim our cares away Put your toes down in the water Dream, dream, dream. 
have to do is dream, 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 dream when I feel blue in the night and I need you to hold me tight whenever I want you. All I have to do is dream. can make you mine taste your lips of wine anytime night or day only trouble is gee whiz I'm dreaming my life away if they heard your version of that. Thank you. Did it so, so very well. The Everly Brothers, who had an outsized influence on the music of their time, they were not recognized enough for as important as they were in the early stages of rock and roll and country, both. Mm -hmm. They really were the original crossover band, those guys were. So thanks so much for playing that song. We had the Everly Brothers hit, All I Have to Do is Dream, preceded by Tyler Childers, a song called Lady May. Pretty Gritty has been my guests today on the program, Blaine Heinenen and Sarah Ann Wolf. And you've been very busy this last while. You've made a number of recordings. Where can people access the music that you have out and purchase it if they want to get some of it on their uh, own stereo at home? Uh, prettygrittymusic.com, or uh, we're also on Instagram, just slash Pretty Gritty Music, mm -hmm. or at, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. And... Uh, Facebook slash Pretty Gritty, and then um, on iTunes, Spotify, all the streaming, Amazon. Things. Some of the albums are on that, and then yeah. the older albums you are can on just, our Square Store, we which is literally found on our put website. them in mailers and mail them to you if you want. In a one. lunch bag. Yeah, in a lunch bag. It's a true story. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You've got one more song to take us out today, Blaine and Sarah. Again, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to hear you again and hear the difference eight years make. You guys have come a long way in the last eight years. Thank you. We appreciate you having us. And uh, what's this final song going to be that we're going to hear? It's called mm -hmm. Coming Loose. Cookie cutter conversation and carbon copied lines Careful not 
to crack the eggshells, choke down all my pride. Sickly sweet and so polite, but hollow in my eyes. These thoughts are left untold, never let the truth unfold. Suddenly that high road feels like the only one I'm traveling. My backbone is coming loose and I'm unraveling That high road don't feel so high anymore What's the use when no one cares to know? I take that high road One way street delusions pointed fingers right at me. Common ground is hard to find in their reality. I try hard to make amends, accept the things I've done. When it's someone else's turn, the thing to do is left undone. Suddenly that high road feels like the only one I'm traveling. My backbone coming loose and I'm unraveling that high road don't feel so high anymore what's the use when no one cares to know I take that high road the walls are closing in and the air is getting thin the walls are closing in and the air is getting thin the walls are closing in and the air is getting thin my silence is about to break and blow up in my face because that high road feels like the only one I'm traveling my backbone is coming loose and I'm unraveling that high road don't feel so high anymore what's the use when no one cares to know what's the use when no one cares to know I take that high road